Hello everyone, back with another video talking about data. This video has two parts. In the first part, we talk about a wonderful data set. And in the second part, we talk about a wonderful website, which has even more wonderful and free data sets for you. Previously, I have done two such videos. First one was in a freely available human data sets and the other one about open access data sets on a range of livestock and companion animal species. All the previous species were mammals, so it is time to change it up a little bit and also add some birds into the mix. And here is where the Simbreed project comes in. So the Simbreed project is a shortcut for synergistic plant and animal breeding. And among other things, they also did a chicken diversity panel. So if you're interested in this, they describe everything in this paper that you see on the screen. It is in BMC Genomics, so it is open access. And what is even better, that data they were, have been using and genotyping and creating is also open access. This is just a short summary what the chicken diversity panel is about. So you see that there are overall 174 species and in total, 3,235 individuals. So it is a range of breeds from all around the world. They are fancy breeds, they are commercial breeds, they are local breeds, you name it. In general, there seems to be 10 to 30 individuals per breed. And as you see, they are from all around the world and from multiple countries. So for sure, it is worthwhile to check out. Also, there are some wild red jungle fowls genotype. If you're interested in the data itself, there is a link at the end of this paper, which takes you to the Figshare website. There you will find Pling PED and MAP files that you can download and you can use that data. Also, we speak about high density data here. So it is about 580,000 SNPs for each individual. And the other resource I wanted to show you is the European Variation Archive. This is truly a fascinating resource with loads and loads of data. Of course, also all this data is also free and open access. I will put the link below so you can explore yourself. I just wanted to highlight here on the left side, the truly amazing range of species, not just from the animal kingdom, but, but from all around that is available here. So if we scroll down, we find everything from carp to tea to mink, mosquitoes, even amoebas, and all the fancy stuff that you might not even thought that is genotyped. I am really excited to explore this site myself. They have array data, whole genome sequence data, genotyping by sequencing data. So there is truly a wide range of possibilities here. And it gets even better. You might notice on the left side here, so we are right now in the short genetic variants section, but there is another one, a structural variants. So if you click this, you get another list. Here, there are not so many entries, but still the variability of the data is truly fascinating. So these data are from structural variants, which are more than 50 base pairs long. So they open up a whole new range of possibilities if you want to try out something new in your research. So as I said before, it's truly fascinating and I really, really looking forward to explore as much as I can from all of this. I hope you liked these resources, links down in the video description below. If you know about other data sets, other similar websites, I am le really looking forward to your comments in the comment section. Of course, also feel free to drop a comment from anything you like, questions, comments, or really anything. So this was just a short video. I thank you for your time and have a very nice day. Let's go explore. Yay. End of the video. Wow. <laughs>